Woohoo! You're officially in your 36th week of pregnancy. Grab a camera and take a snapshot of this monumental moment because it's not every day that you're in your ninth month of pregnancy. Now, let's talk about that freezer. This would be the perfect time to stock it up with healthy meals that just need to be heated up once baby is here. Speaking of, did you know that after this week, baby will be considered full term? Of course, your original due date is still the best predictor for your delivery, but at this point, baby is basically just gaining weight. By week 36, baby is measuring close to 19 inches long and weighs approximately six and a half pounds. Of course, this is just the average and your baby may be a little bigger or smaller at this point. You, however, may be getting ready for your weekly exam, which probably includes a screening for group B strep. Group B strep is a bacterial infection that causes pneumonia and meningitis and can be life-threatening to newborns. Up to 40% of healthy women carry this infection in their vagina or lower intestines and can pass it on to their babies during delivery. If the mother tests positive, she'll be treated with antibiotics during her labor to prevent spreading the infection to her baby. Speaking of labor, if you work outside of the home, make sure your employer and coworkers are up to speed on your projects. And if you're planning on taking an extended maternity leave, it's a good idea to make sure everyone knows your boundaries. Will you be taking calls, answering emails? If so, when and how often? You can always set strict expectations to begin with and then loosen them as you settle into a routine with baby. If you have other kiddos, make sure they know the plan in case you go into labor when they're not home. For example, who will pick them up and who will take care of them while you're in the hospital? Finally, if they're little kiddos, make sure their daycare or school administrators know the plan too. 